hello there and welcome back to the FTB Infinity Light server with me, uh, Trionus. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're well and good. I'm doing fairly well, uh, apart from I've got to make this video a little bit quickly and I want time to do it a right a uh, lot because unfortunately I've got an appointment this afternoon uh, so I don't really have a lot of time for recording, editing and this such I really probably should have done this last night uh, but uh, things as they are uh, but yeah unfortunately I haven't had a lot of time to come on to uh, this server because I've been spending a little bit more time on the uh, Aftershocks SMP server and I'm doing a large build on there if you follow me on that uh, So yeah, I haven't really done any work on here uh, To actually sort out this shape uh, So I'm still looking for suggestions on how to improve it. Maybe uh, I won't bring up the blueprint, but you know the design that we're going for. A bit like the Superman crest, if you want to <laughs> keep thinking that myself, actually. Uh, that's kind of how it how it looks. Uh, so, yeah, I keep thinking about getting rid of this now and maybe doing it too. Maybe that might be a little bit better, uh, rather than just uh, getting rid of the three, if you know what I mean. Because here we've got three, so it would the dirt would start from here instead and go two, 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 and that way see if that would be any better, but I, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. See if uh, you've got any ideas, or maybe I should try and mix up some of the, uh, how this works, you know, doing three for a time, then two, then back to three. I, I may have to do some creative building in a test world or something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, but I have done a little bit of work over here this morning, very quickly, uh, just to try and sort things out a little bit. Um, oh, that reminds me, uh, Builder's Wand, uh, four ounce scoop, my good friend, uh, mentioned something about a swapping wand. Uh, but uh, let's have a look at wands. Uh, I think this is only the ones that we've got, uh, which are mainly just builder's wands and uh, the destruction wand sort of thing. There doesn't seem to be a swapping one because a uh, bit like the resident exchange, I don't know if you remember that, uh, you could have actually uh, swapped out blocks with uh, this. So I could have built the entire thing out of dirt and then gone round and swapped it for the plastic without having to dig it all up over and over again. But uh, yeah, the swapping wand is not in this unfortunately but thank you scoop for reminding me about that sort of thing um but yeah it's unfortunately not in for some whatever reason uh that's the ftb team for you <laughs> uh but yeah you may notice an improved rate of lag uh that's because i've disabled a few of my machines <laughs> uh, basically all i've done is i have disconnected the power source from down here purposely uh because quite frankly i'm still making i was still making plastic and i've got another twenty thousand here uh but at the moment i don't know how much i'm gonna need but i've got quite a lot anyway so i don't see the point in making any more uh at the moment uh, so i've disconnected that uh, i have also increased the uh, capacitor bank from a basic up to a standard so it now holds five million rf and uh, we've got an input and output and this thing can actually keep up with it now as you can see we're not having a power loss uh, but that's only because of tiger's uh, solar panels here uh, which do actually have an internal charge as well. I didn't actually realize that, so they do actually last overnight as well, which actually is a point in their favor, which uh, makes the change for solar panels anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't really want to use these because I'm, like I've said before, I'm not really a big fan of solar panels. Uh, so um, I have been thinking about what sort of power supply I want to do. And I do want to go into Deep Residence. It's a mod I haven't done before, and it's something I do want to look into. But from what I understand, I also need a 
uh, to understand RF tools as well, just another mod. I don't know because they're part of the same system sort of thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I need to get into RF tools. Uh, but while I'm kind of looking into that as well, I have thought of a another thing, or I have been looking into another power system, uh, which I don't know if it's worth going into, and that is a mechanism power supply. Because uh, I didn't actually realize this until the other day when I was looking around. And Mechanism do actually have its own uh, steam turbine system here for Mechanism Generators. And um, I was wondering whether or not to look into this. Now, like I said, this is a steam turbine, so you need some sort of boiler, which again, Mechanism does provide. Uh, there we go. There's boiler system here. There's more to it than just those two blocks, obviously. Um, these are multi-structures that you build. Uh, one's, like a, like I say, is a boiler system. The other one's the actual turbine itself. And I'm pointing here because this is where I'm thinking about building it. Um, if I do build them. But from what I understand, the actual boiler system, if you're not careful, you can actually make a bit of a loss because the boiler needs some sort of Heater attached to it. Um, let's see if I can actually see it. I think it's this thing, this resonant heater. And from what I understand, this thing alone takes about a uh, thousand RF per tick. Uh, and the boiler, if the actual turbine system, if you're not careful, will actually make less than that. Uh, so you basically be making a bit of a loss or I could just make a uh, an extreme reactors system which also creates steam which uh, a lot of people say is better than the mechanism boiler so but that would require me using uh, eulorium which uh, isn't too bad but then I keep thinking well if I'm going to make uh, this extreme reactor, excuse me, an extreme reactor's boiler, then I might as well just make the reactor itself, and <laughs> that's what I keep thinking anyway. Um, I don't know, uh, so let me know what you think in the comment section, please. Uh, other than that, I think that is everything. Um, yeah, it's, let me have a quick thing. Sorry, I'm a, a little bit in a, in a tizz whilst we're having this appointment this afternoon. Um, so yeah, the that's been told. I've told you that I've upgraded this and this is keeping up with. Thanks for this. That needs some work. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, so that didn't last very really long at all. Uh, just over eight minutes and that's with me thinking about what I've uh, also got to tell you about. Uh, so yeah, uh, so a couple of things for you to think about as well if you don't mind uh, Let me know what you think to the shape of that. Let me know what you think to uh, My temporary solution for my power supply with uh, the mechanism turbine um, Yeah, and that's roughly about it today. Uh, I have been collecting some resources for the turbine already You know, I've made some steel uh, some enriched alloys and things that we will need. I need to make a uh, a quick list of what I would actually need. Hello Creeper, what do you want? I haven't got anything for you today. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting visitor. I don't know where he's come from. Um, yeah. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's going to be about it for today's uh, episode. I'm afraid, like I said, it was going to be a very quick one. I, I do apologise for that. Uh, I'll try and make up for it for an, a longer episode one day, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me. Obviously, if you've got any hints, tips, comments, suggestions or ideas, or if you just want to say hello, then feel free to put that down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit that like button. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!